Just like apps in the Apple Store are built to run on iOS, dApps on Ethereum are built to run on Solidity. As a hard fork of Ethereum, Pulse Chain is currently being built with Golang programming language and that can help it stand out from Ethereum. In this video, we're going to go over Solidity and Go programming languages, what they are, how they are different and four ways in which Go can be revolutionary for Pulse Chain. Cool. So Solidity and Go are both programming languages that serve different purposes within the Ethereum ecosystem. Think of programming languages as the tools that developers use to build things. Just like a house can be built with a hammer or a screwdriver, different programming languages can be used to create smart contracts. Solidity is a high-level language and it's designed to target the Ethereum virtual machine EVM. That sounds like technical jargon, so let's unpack it a little bit. The EVM is simply a piece of software that helps to determine the state of every block in the Ethereum blockchain. This means that if I carry out a block of transactions, the EVM will know about it and can tell everyone else on the network what happened. It achieves this by computing the state of the Ethereum network after each block of transactions is added. Think of it as not just a programming language, but a fact checker or a proofreader for the Ethereum blockchain. So because Solidity is designed to target the EVM, it's really good at creating smart contracts. A smart contract is a piece of code that runs on the blockchain and can be used to store data or carry out transactions. For example, you could use a smart contract to send money to someone only if they provide you with a product or a service. Okay, enough about Solidity, let's talk about Golang before going into why it's a game changer for Pulse Chain. Golang is a programming language created by Google and it is designed for system programming. This means that it's really good at handling a lot of information at the same time and making sure that everything runs smoothly. Think of it as the management of a construction site. There are a lot of people working on different parts of the building at the same time and it is the job of the Golang programming language to make sure that everyone is working together and that the construction site does not collapse. Of course, the construction site is in this example refers to any given blockchain. So on one hand, Golang is great for nodes and writing a lot of codes to interact with a blockchain, while Solidity is for smart contracts. Now let's talk about four reasons why Golang is such a big deal for Pulse Chain. Firstly, Golang is more scalable. One of the main issues with Ethereum is that it can only handle a limited number of transactions at any given time. This has led to congestion and high gas fees during peak periods. However, with Golang, more transactions can be processed at the same time without less congestion. This is made possible since Golang improves the communication between nodes on the network. This helps the network to function more efficiently and prevents any one node from becoming overloaded with data. This in turn reduces the chances of the network slowing down or breaking. In addition, Golang can improve the scalability of Pulse Chain because it has inbuilt concurrency. Now, concurrency simply means that multiple tasks can be carried out at the same time. For example, if I'm cooking a meal, I can be chopping vegetables while the pasta is boiling. This is something that Solidity cannot do, as well as Golang does. With Golang, multiple tasks can be carried out simultaneously, which means that more transactions can be processed at the same time. Since Pulse Chain would have this feature built into its network, it would be able to handle a lot more transactions than Ethereum can. Secondly, Go programming language can make Pulse Chain faster than Ethereum. The average transaction speed on Ethereum is about 15 transactions per second. However, with Golang, the team at Pulse Chain believes that they can increase that to thousands of transactions per second. This is because on Pulse Chain, there would be no need for the EVM like we discussed earlier. The lack of the EVM would also lead to significant reductions in the time needed to complete the transactions. The third thing to note is Golang is more secure. When it comes to the blockchain security, there are two main aspects. The first is the risk of fraud and the second is the risk of hacking. With Solidity, there have been a few instances of fraud. For example, in 2016, there was a case of what is known as the DAO hack. In this instance, a hacker was able to exploit a flaw in the code of a smart contract written in Solidity and make off with about $50 million worth of Ether. To learn more about this event, kindly check out our video on Ethereum Classic. Anyways, Golang could make Pulse Chain highly secure as it will be more difficult to hack. This is because when writing code in Golang, the programmer has to be very explicit about what they want the code to do. There is little room for ambiguity which makes it much harder for hackers to find and exploit loopholes. Lastly, Go is easier to learn. If you're a beginner programmer, learning Golang will be a lot easier than learning Solidity. Earlier, the developers of Pulse Chain were writing its code on Solidity, which is a common programming language. However, it's becoming outdated as more and more developers are learning Go. 
This is a trend we're seeing in the overall cryptocurrency industry as well. One of the reasons why people find Go easier is that it's a compiled language. This means that as developers are writing code, the Go compiler is constantly checking for errors. If any errors are found, the Go compiler will let the programmer know so that they can fix it right away. This is in contrast to Solidity, which is an interpreted language. With Solidity, the code is not checked for errors until they actually run it. By then, it might be too late and the hacker might have already made off with the funds. Why is this good for PulseChain? Well, it simply means that more people will be able to develop on the PulseChain network, which would lead to more innovation and growth. So, these are four reasons why Go can be great for PulseChain, but does this mean all will be well until the very end? Well, not so fast. Golang is an excellent programming language, but there are still some eventualities and risks that come with it. Here are two of them. The first one is a risk of double spending. Like we explained before, one of the main benefits of Golang is that it can carry out multiple transactions at the same time. However, this also means that there is a higher risk of double spending. This is when someone tries to spend the same cryptocurrency twice. With Ethereum, this is not possible as all transactions are verified by miners before they are added to the blockchain. However, with Pulse Chain, because of its unique consensus mechanism, it will be possible for someone to try and spend their tokens twice. The team of Pulse Chain is aware of this risk and is working on ways to mitigate it, but it's something to keep in mind. The second risk has to do with the deadlock. Concurrency is one of the main advantages of Golang, but it's also coming with a unique challenge known as deadlock. This is when two or more processes are waiting for each other to finish before they can continue. This can lead to a situation where the system comes to a standstill and no transactions can be processed. This can happen when multiple concurrent processes are trying to access the same resource. Again, the team at Pulse Chain is aware of this challenge and is working on ways to address it. These are two risks that come with Golang, but overall, to get a better understanding of what Pulse Chain is, you need to know how tokens on the network will be treated. To learn all you need to know about this, watch this video on PulseX, Pulse Chain's exchange protocol.